Hey guys, this is Ganjang. Today we are going to get familiar with hotspot texturing, a function that has been added recently in Umodeler. Hotspot texturing is a function that lets users quickly perform UV on RAM using a predefined layout. First, let's create a hotspot layout. Create a hotspot layout SF file by clicking new hotspot layout here. The hotspot layout editor will pop up automatically once an SF file is created. Grab the hotspot layout right over here. It is more convenient to have some textures when grabbing the hotspot layout. I am going to import the wooden texture that I created earlier. I made this texture beforehand to work efficiently along the grid. It would be better to use the grid to work on it in other image editing programs like Photoshop. There is a button on the left to configure the grid snap interval. You can choose from 1 half, 1 quarter, and so on, but I am going to use 1 in 32 for this demo. On the right side, there are buttons for creating shapes. Here is a square and a right triangle. You can move or scale by selecting a layout. Use different buttons on the right side to rotate. You can create not only a right triangle, but an isosceles triangle as well. Depending on the direction in which you drag, you can control the shapes of triangles. What happens if you make an incorrect shape? Just simply hit the Del key or click this button over here. I just wanted to quickly go over the buttons. Let's continue to make the layout. Create a right square or a rectangle, something longer, even longer, bigger and even bigger. OK, it's complete and last. Now that a layout is created, let's try UV on red. The hotspot layout can be loaded and reused. So it's a good idea to make a good one. Let's check out the texture before doing UV on red. You can see the pixels in the padded texture. You can use the hotspot padding value for UV on red. I'm going to give it a value of 10. Check the box for auto hotspot. Select the face and move around. You can see the padding value is applied for UV. Isn't it that nice? Let's apply the wooden texture and move it around. Just move it around a little bit. Hold on, I'm going to turn off the sky box. You can see that UV is applied immediately. When you select the flip to copy it and create such a skinny form. Okay, so we just saw that. But how about this? When you create a color from the bottom, you usually divide the face using inset or scale tool like this. However, the UVs of the divided faces don't look good like this. It's distorted after being split into four. I'm going to allocate these faces to a single layout. Check the box for hotspot group. It doesn't matter if your auto hotspot is turned on or not for this. Select apply hotspot to make it into one layout. If there is another layout that you like, select apply selected hotspot. Like this. As you can see, you can use hotspot texturing to work on UV quickly, rather than working manually. You will be able to produce quick access faster if you have layouts made for different textures. I hope you can effectively create your world in Unity after watching this video.